Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. We're playing game two. So let's continue. Up first, Harry. And we have to process a Dark Arts card as the first step in a turn. And this one does not look good. He who must not be named. Add one evil influence to the location. All right, well, we've got two on the Forbidden Forest now. That's not so good. But now um, we re resolve the villain abilities. And Quirrell, active hero, loses one health. So Harry's going to go from seven down to six. He only has four cards because he had to discard one last turn. So let's see what he has. Well, he has Incendio. Uh, gain one attack and draw a card. That's pretty good. So we're going to gain one attack and he gets to draw another card. All right, uh, his Firebolt, gain one attack. If you defeat a villain, also gain an influence. Well, it's not going to quite work because Quirrell has six hit points and this is only going to give us five. And then he has one, uh, hang on, we get to uh, choose one, gain two influence or draw a card. Hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a card, you know, we're going to try drawing a card. All right, well, that gives us three influence. All right, it could have been worse, I suppose. Three influence, two attack. Uh, so we'll process the attack. So now Quirrell's going to have five attack against him. And we have three influence. And I think we're going to go ahead and buy, well, the only card that we can buy for three, and that's the uh, Finite or Finite spell. Remove one evil influence from the location. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect that. Into the discard pile, we have uh, three influence that we spent for that card, and that basically processes the end of the turn. So Harry's going to have to shuffle his cards uh, and draw five new ones, and then up next will be Ron once we replace the Hogwarts card. All right, so that's Harry. We'll draw him five new cards. We won't look at them unless we need to. All right, we're going to replace the Hogwarts card with Quidditch gear. Gain one attack and get one health back, costing three. All right, up next is Ron. Ron has a Dark Arts card to process. Of course, Petrification. All heroes lose a health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. And the active hero gets five cards at the end of the turn. So we can't draw any active, any more extra cards this turn. All heroes lose a health. Harry's going to go from six down to five. Ron's going to go from five down to four. And then up next we process the villain and Ron, active hero, is going to lose a health. Ron's going to go from four down to three. Now he gets to play his cards. All right, what does he have? What does he have? Well, he has... Um, well, we cannot draw extra cards this turn, so he's going to get two influence for that. So three, couple, two more influence for that. And we're going to gain an influence for that, but he didn't play any allies. And my battery's dying, so we're going to process this when I come back with a new battery. Okay, fresh battery, and we're going to process this card, the Nimbus 2001. Gain two attack if you defeat a villain also gain two influence and we will so ron's going to get two attack uh who which he's going to then play on quarrel that's going to put a total of seven quarrel is defeated and i do believe he just disappears now he's been defeated and of course all these attack are going to go away and we're going to get two extra influence for the nimbus 2001 because we de because ron defeated a uh, villain uh, and of course we also need to look at the reward for all heroes uh, reward all heroes gain one influence and one health so that's awesome so Ron gets an influence Harry will also get an influence it's gonna go on his card though and he'll be able to use it on his turn and one health so Harry's gonna go from five to six Ron's gonna go from three to four so that was quite beneficial and Ron has a mountain of influence here he has two, four, six 
he actually has eight influence. Uh, I think he's going to go ahead. Oh boy, I don't know what he's going to do here. I think he's going to go ahead and he's going to get his mom as an ally. She costs six, but she is really quite the awesome car. So six of the eight. He has two left, but everything else is three or more. End of his turn, he's going to get rid of all of his tokens. He's to discard all of his cards and draw up to five. And that will then be the end of his turn. Oh, I didn't miss anything. So I don't think, or did I miss giving him one damage from Quirrell? I don't think I did. If I did, I'll correct it eventually or leave a note. Okay, so he's now shuffled and he will be drawing five cards for his next turn. And we have to replace the Hogwarts card. Then we get Essence of Dittany. What well, anyone, any one hero gains to health. That only costs two. All right, when we come back, we're going to do a couple more turns, of course, starting with Harry. And of course, before we get into Harry's turn, we should have revealed the next villain at the end of Ron's turn, which basically is right now. So we're just continuing on. The next villain we have is the lovely duo Crab and Goyle. Each time a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, the hero loses a health. Okay, and our reward will be all heroes drawing a card. Five health, Crab and Goyler from game one. So, so far we haven't seen a game two villain, but I'm sure they're going to pop up because we still have five villains to defeat. Up next is Harry. Oh, and before we play his cards, of course, Dark Arts card for Harry. Petrification, didn't we just see this? All heroes lose a health and cannot draw extra cards. All right, well, Harry goes from six down to five. Ron goes from four down to three. And now we process this. Uh, each time a dark arts or villain causes a hero to discard a card. Well, we didn't have to discard a card. All we had to do was we cannot draw extra cards. So Crab and Goyle don't come into effect. Now it's time for Harry to play his cards. What does he have? It's like he has a lot of stuff. Stuff. Uh, you can't draw extra cards. That is sad because we're going to play this. We gain an attack, draw a card, but we can't. So we will gain one attack. What else do we have here? Choose one. Gain two influence or draw a card. Well, I guess we're gaining two influence because once again, we cannot draw cards this turn. So two influence, uh, one, two, and one, two, three more influence. So we're going to have here a total of five influence and one attack. So we'll put the one attack on Crab and Goyle. And now five influence. What do we want to do with five influence? I think Harry's going to go ahead and get Dobby, costing four. So we're going to spend four influence with Dobby. And he's pretty cool. Remove one of the influences off a of location and then draw a card. So that's really powerful. Uh, and now it's the cleanup phase, which means he loses that last influence. All of his played cards go into the discard. Draws five new cards for the next turn, which we won't look at until it's his turn unless we have to. And we have to replace the Hogwarts card with, ooh, the Phoenix. Fox the Phoenix. Okay, choose one, gain two attack, or all heroes gain two health. Wow, that's really powerful, gain two. That's a very powerful card. Excellent, so that goes in here. Up next, it's Ron's turn. Dark Arts card for Ron. Uh, game one, Flipendo. Active hero loses one health and discards one card. Oh man, so Ron's going from three health down to two. And he has to discard a card. Well, he has to, he'll just discard an, uh, a lower Morha. That's not a problem. But now we have to process the villains. Each time a Dark Arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, the hero loses one health. So Ron is going to go now from two down to one. He is in desperate danger of getting stunned, which would be very bad. But he has his ally, Mom this turn so that's pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and play her first all heroes gain an influence oh and i forgot ron oh man ron had or harry had an extra influence at the end of his or his turn but we're going to lose it i forgot about it my bad too bad okay 
Ollie Weasley, all heroes gain an influence and two health. To remember that for Ron, I'm going to stick it on his card deck so I don't forget it. So that means Ron gets an influence. So does Harry. Harry gets two health back from five to seven. Ron really needs health. He goes from one to three. All right, if I'm doing this all correctly, I hope so. This is now gain two influence or draw a card. I think we're going to use it this time for gaining two influence. So two influence, another influence for that one. And the Nimbus 2001. Gain two attack if you defeat a villain. Well, that's not going to happen this turn, but two attack is excellent. So we're going to put those two attack, of course, on Crab and Goyle. And now Ron has four influence to spend. And with his four influence, he is going to get Hagrid, which gives him an attack and all heroes gain health. Cleanup time. Discarding all tokens and cards. He will then draw five more cards uh, for his next turn. And up next, oh, we have to replace, of course, the Hog Hogwarts... Hogwarts card. Ooh, this is a game two card. The Polyjuice Potion. Choose an ally you have played this turn. You may copy the effects of that ally. Costing three. That's cool. That's something good for Ron to have because he's got the most allies, I think. So we're powering up our decks pretty good here. When we come back, we're going to do another turn with Harry and then Ron. Okay, continuing on with Harry. Dark Arts card. Active Hero loses two health. Okay, well that's that's not great. We're going to go from 7 health down to 5 for Harry. Ah yes, Harry had that leftover or extra influence this time, which I stuck on top of the card deck so I didn't forget it this time. Alright, Harry's going to be playing cards and looks like we've got some excellent activity going on. So first up he's going to play Ginny. Gets one attack and one influence. Boom. One attack, or one influence, one attack. Then he's going to play his Firebolt, gain an attack. If you defeat a villain, also gain one influence. And that's going to happen. So he's going to play an attack. He's going to, the two attacks go on to Crab and Goyle. Five. Crab and Goyle is defeated. Harry's going to get an influence. Crab and Goyle are out of here, which is excellent. Whoops, as the tokens fire. And we're going to look at their reward. All heroes draw a card. So these guys are immediately defeated. All heroes draw a card. So Harry's going to draw another card. He gets Hedwig. Excellent. Ron gets to draw another card, which I'll do kind of off the side of the screen here where we can't see. But he's drawn another card as well. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, all right. So he has, what does he have left? Invisibility Cloak is going to give him one influence. So he's going to have four, five, six. He's going to get two more influence. Wow, we're really getting the influence. Choose one, gain one attack or two health. Well, one attack's not going to do him any good because uh, the villain doesn't come out till the end of the turn. I believe that's how the turn order works. So we're going to get two health for Harry. So he's going to go from five health up to seven. That was an excellent, excellent turn. He has two, four, six influence. I do believe uh, Harry's going to buy the Phoenix ally, uh, which is gain two attack or all heroes gain two health costing five so that leaves him one but there's nothing for one so we're just going to do the cleanup now which means we're going to discard all cards and then we're going to have harry draw five cards which of course i have to do because he is now out of cards okay so three four five that'll be his hand for his next turn Okay, what else do we need to do for the cleanup? We need to replace the card, another Nimbus 2001. Gain two attack, be defeat a villain, get two influence, costing five. And we have the new villain showing up. And the new villain this time, ooh, is the Basilisk. Ouch. Game two, heroes cannot draw extra cards, period. You still draw five cards at the end of your turn. The reward, all heroes draw a card, remove one influence from a location, eight health. Wow. We're going to need to do a lot of beating on the Basilisk. But up next is going to be Ron. So of course, first thing Ron does, processes a Dark Arts card. 
Another uh, two. Active hero loses a health, add an influence to the location. Ouch. So we're going to add an influence to the location. Active hero loses a health. Ron goes from three health down to two. And remember now, because of the basilisk, <clears throat> we cannot draw any extra cards. All right, Ron's turn. But he, he already had that extra card from last time, so from defeating Crab and Goyle. So he's going to have to... He will get all of this. So... That's cool. So first he's going to play Hedwig for two health because he's beaten up too badly. Goes from two health up to four. Then he's going to play uh, Birdie Boss Ever Flavor Beans. Gain an influence. For each ally you play this turn, gain an attack. So that's awesome. So he gets an attack and he gets an influence because he played Hedwig. And the rest is spells. So influence, 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 influence. So four more influence. Uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four more influence. For a total of five. And I think he's going to spend three influence to buy the Polyjuice Potion. Because he has the most allies. I choose an ally you played. You can copy the effects. He's going to then spend two. And he's going to get this Essence of Dittany. Any, any hero gains two health. And we're going to, of course, apply the one attack to the Basilisk, who has eight hit points. Cleanup time! Put the cards away, and then Ron's going to draw up to five cards. So I'm going to have to do a bit of shuffling for the cards that he just got. So yeah, things looking, I think, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, nobody's been knocked out yet, so that's that's a, at least a bonus. All right, and we have to replace, of course, the two cards. We get another Essence of Dittany. We just saw what that was all about. And another Quidditch gear. All right, costing three. Okay, when we come back, I'm going to process two more turns. We're going to do Harry. We're going to do Ron. That'll be the end of the episode. Okay, let's continue. Harry. Dark Arts card. We hate these. Ooh, another game too. Relagio. If I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing these things. I'm, I apologize. All heroes choose one. They discard an item. Or lose two health. Ouch. Okay. What does Harry have for items? Spell, spell, spell. Ally. Well, Harry's going to have to lose two health. He does not have an item. So he's going to go from seven health down to five. Ron does not really want to lose health. Uh, he has his clean sweep item. And I think he's going to get rid of this. He's going to discard his clean sweep because... He only has four health. He doesn't want to get beat down too much more. All right, that um, that's that. We process the villain. Villain only says we cannot draw extra cards on your turn. Okay, oh, this is so good. All right, starting off, Harry's going to play Finite. Remove one influence from the location. Boom. So we're going to go, we had three on there, back down to two. Uh, he has a couple of Aloha Morhas which means he gets two influence. Oh, that's okay. What else do we have here? Choose one. Gain two influence or draw a card. Well, he cannot draw a card, so he will gain two influence up to four. And Dobby. Remove one influence from a location and draw a card. Well, we can't draw a card, but we can remove that from the location. So we've really beaten down the uh, Forbidden Forest. It only has one influence on it now. And Harry has four influence to spend, and I think, oh, what's he going to do? I think he's going to go ahead and get this spell, which is Incendio, gain an attack and draw one, draw a card, and that costs him his four influence. Clean up time, away goes his hand, he's going to draw five more cards for next turn, which we won't see unless we have to. And we're going to replace the Hogwarts card with another Essence of Dittany. I did shuffle this stuff, believe it or not, but that's what we're getting. And uh, that was it for cleanup. So tokens would go away. Uh, cards replaced. Continuing on, up next, Ron. And this is going to end off our episode for today. Dark Arts card. Hate these. Okay, he must not be named. Wow, we just got rid of some off the location. Add one influence to the location. Phew, well that's good because it was at three, but now it's gone back to two. So, so far we're doing okay. Process the villain. We cannot draw extra cards. 
Now that's what happens. Ron is at four health, so okay, things not looking too terrible for him. And cannot draw extra cards, so <laughs> draw a card. Then discard one card, or if you discard this card, draw a card. This guy is completely useless at the moment with the Basilisk out. Um, so we're just going to discard this card, and we can't draw a card. So that didn't do him anything. So we have one, two, three. Hello, Morhaz. Ron ends up with one, two, three influence. That's it. Ron's going to get Quidditch gear, because he already has a Nimbus 2001. He needs Quidditch gear to go with it. So he's going to spend three. This is gain an attack, gain one health. So he spends his three influence. He gets that. It's now cleanup time. Discarding cards. He's going to draw up to five again for his hand. And yeah, there we go. And we're going to refill the Hogwarts deck with Descendo. Gain two attack. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And that's it. So we're going to leave it off there. We have this pesky Basilisk out here. Only has one attack on it. Not not good. Our location's up to two control markers on it. It's only the first of three locations though, so we're not doing too bad. Ron's sitting at four health. Harry's sitting at five. And so far they haven't been knocked out, so things are going pretty good. And we've gotten rid of two villains, Quirrell and Crab and Goyle. So thanks so much for watching along. This is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. We're doing game two, which added a bunch of cards in from game one. And so uh, thanks for your suggestions and your comments and your subscriptions and all that. Really do appreciate it. So join me next time for the continuation of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. We're playing game two with Harry and Ron.